Ah, the outdoors, beautiful clouds, trees blowing in the wind, leaves falling to the ground, rivers flowing downstream, birds chirping, ducks quacking, dogs and squirrels running around. Nothing can take this amazing, comfortable world we know as our home away from us. So with the invention of coronavirus and the impact it has on the world, outdoor time is limited. Well, I guess it's time to play some games. Yep, since COVID has messed up a lot of people's filming ideas, I've decided to do mine on the appeal of PC gaming. Well, rate right that bat, just know that no one likes you. So a lot of people nowadays are investing in computers, specifically to play games and crank 90s like a madman in Fortnite. Oh, what's that? You don't know what that means. Well, hopefully you learn about PC culture and its ongoing popularity around the world. Hopefully. Otherwise, I'm wasting my time. You gotta turn on the motherboard there. Oh! So a lot of people may think that being a gamer means you have to have some insane setup and where you eat, sleep and breathe games. But that simply isn't true. Even if you play games on your phone such as Candy Crush or Clash of Clans, yes, you are in fact a gamer. Just an FYI, no one really refers to themselves as being a gamer, the title has been ruined with all the memes about it going around the internet. This video will only be focusing on primarily PC gaming and why I and many people believe it's the best form of gaming. Discord message. But first, I have a few people who were kind enough to let me interview them about their gaming preferences. So, uh, I guess I'll put it here. Stop messaging me! Uh, what platform do you play your games on? I usually play PC. I normally play on PC. Why do you prefer playing on PC than the consoles? There's a wide range of games you can play and multiple sites that give different games. I think PC is better because the games are cheaper and it doesn't cost much. What would you say your favourite game is? Hitman. Twilight Princess, definitely. Why is that? Fun game, open world. Huge maps, kill everyone, spy games, pretty good. I like the story and I like the characters. What else do you use your PC for? I do college work. College work. Like YouTube. YouTube. All of that. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. Shake my hand. Shake my hand. Make sure I get on camera. <laughs> From these two interviews, you can see that PC players take full advantage of their systems. You can go from doing college work or watching YouTube videos to playing some of your favourite games in only a few seconds. Yes, Xboxes and Playstations have video apps like Netflix and YouTube also, but you can't do any work related activities when using them. If you have a job that relies on you sitting at a desk in front of a computer, well, maybe your gaming PC is the way to go. Now you might be asking yourself, what is a gaming PC? Well, simply, the specs or specifications of a computer is what makes a PC made for gaming. These computers tend to have high-end PC hardware built inside them to make the customer's gaming as smooth as possible. Frame rate is a thing that many people talk about. Where the PS5 and Xbox Series X are talking about finally hitting 120 FPS, high-end PCs can destroy that, getting up to 250 FPS in certain games. I understand a lot of this is complicated and may sound like a foreign language, but the PC community is so large, a quick YouTube search will give you many tips and guidance on where to start with PC gaming. Convinced? Well a good gaming PC that will last a long time without any hardware changes will set you back maybe a couple thousand. Don't get me wrong, there are many PCs you can get for cheaper, but if you want to play the latest games at the highest quality, you want to get a good one to get your money's worth. So getting a gaming PC and playing video games sounds great, right? Well, some people don't tend to agree. Yo, what the fuck is wrong with y'all grown ass men running around <laughs> losing your minds over a PlayStation 5? Y'all are not that serious about doing nothing else. Y'all haven't been that serious about nothing or committed to nothing else. I don't think that you could be a great partner or a great lover no, as a grown I, man spending time playing video it, games. If you're like from that clip, you can see that gamers get a bad rap from a small percentage of the population for being lazy, antisocial, and well, not normal. So really, what is the appeal? Well. Entertainment mostly. <laughs> different games cater to different audiences. See, video games can be compared to film. A movie lover may watch things such as Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones, or Avengers for a dramatic storyline and lose themselves in that specific universe. Well, video games can have the same effect, with the only difference being that you take part in the story. 
critically acclaimed games such as The Last of Us, Telltale's Walking Dead, and even the Halo franchise have some amazing and emotional stories. Even I found myself tearing up at a few games in my time. I do agree, however, that gaming isn't the most physical activity, spending hours at a time in front of a screen. However, there are productive ways to spend your time playing games, such as making YouTube videos, live streaming to the masses, or even becoming an esports athlete. These players and social media entertainers get paid and compete for thousands, even millions of pounds, just like real athletes do. Where the physical aspect is lacking, the mental capacity to go pro is as intense as it gets. Not to mention some esports events have filled up literal stadiums with how many people go to watch their favourite players compete. So I've had a gaming computer for about a year and a half now, and I can say it's made my life so much easier. There are some aspects about gaming that isn't exactly the best for your brain. A lot of people have gotten into depression and actual addictions over games. But if you moderate it enough and have a balance in your life, then why not enjoy games? If I could say one thing to people who don't understand games and think they're just for lazy fat people, fuck.